Good morning and happy October 1st run junkies. I am out for a little walk today. Back from Walt Disney World earlier this week. I forgot how much a Disney vacation takes out of you. So I've been taking most of the week off. Um, relaxing a little bit, getting caught up on some sleep and some rest. I haven't been running. I haven't really been doing anything. Um, <clears throat> my last run was at Pop Century on Friday morning, almost a week ago. This month though, in order to get that forward momentum going again, I did sign up for the Run the Edge Streaker Challenges, which uh, I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna do the October challenge, which is 20 minutes or one mile minimum uh, per day, every day throughout the month of October. Uh, I think that's pretty well doable. And today I'm just getting out for at least a mile walk with the Wonder Mutt. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, October 10th. And if for those of you playing along at home, that would have been I would have been towing the start line, if not have already started the Chicago Marathon. Just stating a fact, not whining about it, just stating a fact. And, but boy, look at those trees. Um, I've been feeling a little melancholic about that this week because, you know, I was, that was my really big goal for almost the last almost year. I had let it go, but it's still, when the weekend comes up, you know, you get a little bummed about it. So I'm out for four miles. Guys, look at that sunrise. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to enjoy myself this morning. Get started. Let's check in with you at the cool down. Looking at my training plan again, I was following a harder level of this plan that I'm on right now, and I dropped it back. I dropped my mileage down a little bit, dropped, dropped the intensity down, and I think that helps, because when I look at, and I've had this conversation with a lot of my clients, they look at a 60 minute run, you know, if they were gonna train for Dopey, they look at a 60 minute run and they're like, I just don't feel like doing that. Can't get myself excited for that. Like, okay. Can you handle 45 minutes or 30 minutes? Sure, okay. So I did the same thing for myself. I looked at those numbers between the two plans and I'm like, well, a six mile midweek run just does not sound good to me, but a four mile run, a five mile run, sure. Convert that to time and it makes it even more palatable. So, just kind of giving myself some grace over what's next. After 6 a.m., got my coffee, ready to go. Mm. All right, let me tell you what's happening. Um, I've been really, I have found my streak, okay, this um, October Streaker Challenge uh, with Run the Edge that I'm doing has been really helpful. It's kept me going. Um, I do find that I have two almost personalities of my training plan at the moment. The weeks that my son is home and he's learning online and I have to be up and out the door and back before he starts school. Like those days are much shorter, much more crunched. When he's home and I'm working with him, I kind of cut myself a little bit more slack. When he's gone and I have oodles of time that I will I'm kind of known to waste it by not really doing anything important. So I have that time that week to kind of turn up the juice a little bit, maybe get more mileage in, get more strength training. We were supposed to be back in person learning uh, the week of October, well, next week, basically. So my son's first day back was gonna be November 2nd. 
I'm not gonna get into the details on how they're doing it because it is so confusing and I hate trying to explain it. Basically, it's a week on week off system. His first day back was supposed to be um, in person on November 2nd. They've pushed everybody back two weeks. So he doesn't start in school theoretically, theoretically, and I'm not putting money on this, uh, November 16th. Good morning, happy Friday. We are out for a 60 minute run this morning. Nice and easy. It's 29 degrees, Ooh, baby. Yep, it's gonna be chilly. Which is fine because, you know, we're getting into that time of year. I've got a three day run streak right now. I've got, so this is the first day, five miles today, two to three tomorrow, six to seven on Sunday. As we prepare for next week's Love the Run You With Stack It Set. I've got my buff, I've got my hat. I'm not sparkling today, but I'm still feeling very colorful. All right, good morning, it is Sunday. Out for my long run, finishing it off actually. I feel really good. I am dressed in my Team Sparkle Squad Ambassador official skirt and shirt. I was gonna wear all of the bracelets and the bands and the button and all that stuff, but I got lazy this morning. Sometimes just getting your shoes on is a victory. Once I got out today though, I felt really, really good. And uh, I'm glad I I'm glad I did this run. I remember my alarm went off this morning at 5.15 and I just groaned and I said, I'm not ready. So, but I got myself out of bed. I did hit snooze, but I did get out of bed. And you just take that one step at a time. Have your coffee. Just start with the coffee or whatever it is you do in the morning. First thing, one thing at a time. Because if you are laying in bed and your brain immediately goes to being outside in the cold, on a run, being uncomfortable, <laughs> your brain's not gonna let you get out of bed. So just think, okay, what's the next pleasant thing that I can think of? For me, it's my cup of coffee. Just sitting there with my cup of coffee and life is good. One thing at a time, one step at a time. And that's where we're at right now. That's where we've been for months. And I'm not saying I like it, but I'm used to it. red polka dot ribbon and then I found yellow ribbon and snaps and I figured out how to do snaps and I put up my ears on my wall. Isn't that fun? I'm really excited about it. That okay, wow. Do you mind? Do you mind? Miko has a Mickey ball. It's a good boy. Okay, so I, oh boy, I just finished off the stack at race set, excuse me, I'm talking. And I did a 5K, a 10K, and a 15K, three days in a row, excuse me, I'm talking. I'm tired. I've been doing a lot of running. I've uh, I've been streaking this whole month of October. I've been doing something every day. So the next couple of days, I'm going to do a short walk. One mile, 20 minutes or so. Do that again. Do that for the next couple of days. I also have a lot of foam rolling that I need to do. It's kind of like when you don't do it for a while. It's kind of like when you don't keep up on your email and you, you're you like, oh, I really should spend some time on this and, and, and work on the thing. Yeah, foam rolling, it's just like email. 
Stay on top of it or you're gonna regret it. <sighs> Morning guys. Um, I think it's Wednesday, Wednesday the 20th. Kind of a crazy week this week. My son's home, we're online learning. I've got videos I gotta pump out. I've got podcasts I gotta pump out and I am feeling a little bit of the strain. It's fine, I think I'm all right, but uh, just I'm up early. Since the sun doesn't come up until seven, I'm waiting to get my run in until the sun comes up because we have some ice on the ground. It's been snowing and cold uh, and I just don't wanna risk it in the dark. So right now I'm biding my time by getting some video edited and then I'm gonna get my son out of bed and then I'm gonna go for a run and then I'm gonna come back and help him with school. And the fact of the matter is uh, right now, uh, Denver's going back to phase three and that means that my son won't be going back to in-person learning until 2021 at least. <laughs> um, so that was kind of a wrench that got thrown in the works. The goalpost got moved on us again. So um, I'm gonna go for a run this morning, kind of clear my head, figure out how I'm gonna do this. mini mock yeti style challenge runs so what does that mean uh in a few weeks i will be doing a yeti style challenge as a part of this love the run you're with series on the plan this week i had okay here's here's what it looks like it's very confusing until you hear the description so basically i have two runs today that are 5.1 miles I do the first run, which I'm just finishing off now. And then I wait four hours from the start of that first one to do the second one at 5.1 miles. So that is my mock mini Yeti. It was supposed to be tomorrow, but uh, my schedule just kind of lined up today where this it made more sense to do <coughs> that today. Where do you think you're going? Okay, this is my dog being annoying. Um, the reason being, I have to be extremely flexible with my schedule when my son is home. So I've actually all week been doing two a days. So I've been doubling up on mileage. I've been doing a morning run and either an afternoon run or walk uh, for a couple of reasons. I want to push myself this week. I'm streaking in October. I'm also right now in the middle of the Outrun Bigfoot challenge. So the more miles, the better. And I have basically on the plan to take next week almost completely off. I might do a little bit of running, a little, you know, two, three milers here and there, but I'm not gonna push myself next week. Uh, I will check in with you when I get around to my second run, cause I'm, it's gonna be interesting to see how that feels uh, at 11.30. Obviously, the sky is that beautiful Colorado bluebird sky, and I couldn't be happier about it. This weather, this is, this is my jam. About 35 degrees, 40 degrees, and I'm loving it. All right, good afternoon. Second run of two, 5.1 miles each. As you can tell, 
This one's a little tougher. Ooh, baby. So there's at least 20 degree difference, probably more like 30 degree difference between the run I did this morning and the run I'm doing right now. <laughs> All right, so the way I'm gonna do this Yeti challenge, it's five times every four hours, I'm gonna do a 5K. So let's just arbitrarily pick a number at 4 a.m. I'm gonna do my first 5K, 8 a.m., second 5K, and so on until I've done that five times. Yeah, that was hard. I'm not used to doing um, runs in the middle of the day when it's warm outside. I don't even know what it is, but it's probably close to 60 degrees. Uh, midday, sun shining down. It feels really good, but wow, it was tough. Um, I won't say it felt bad. It just, it was warm. Um, it was definitely harder than what I normally do. So um, I'm kind of excited to see how that's going to feel. And I think it's in a month. I think I have like three or four weeks before I do the full Yeti style. It's not a full Yeti Yeti challenge, but a Yeti style challenge. So anyway, I'm going to have to wrap this month up here pretty quick because it is already October 29th. We got Halloween coming and we're almost ready for it. Okay, so I earned my October streaker badge. The last virtual badge came in on the 30th rather than the 31st. So I actually get to open this today. Today is October 31st. It is Halloween. I'm going to head out here in a minute for my, I don't know, long run. I have no idea how long I'm going to go. I might go for a couple hours. I might go for an hour. No idea. But I can't seem to open this. There we go. So this is the October streaker bag tag badge metal. And it comes on this little, little chain. There he is. Look at him. It's a naked vampire. <laughs> I think that's very clever. Anyway, so happy Halloween. I'm gonna head out and uh, get this run finished. All right guys, I will often have to check what's behind me and it might office is an absolute disaster and that's okay. My husband's on the phone downstairs. I've got construction noise going on outside and it's just one thing after another, but I am going to close it out for the October update. Guys, thank you so much for joining me this month. Um, I think you can start to see a little bit of tale of two schedules, if you will, that the time that my son is here and I'm helping him with online learning, there's not a lot of other things that get done, including these videos. And then when he's not here, I can start to catch up a little bit, but I have more ideas than I have time for. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has that problem, but uh, it, it does become, I do fall behind quite a bit on a lot of a lot of my big projects and there's so much more I wanna bring That in. is going to be it for the October update. Uh, I want to ask you, how are you managing the fall weather? The, the cooler weather, the days are getting shorter. As of this recording, we just hit the time change. So uh, <laughs> all of a sudden, um, it's two in the afternoon and I feel like the sun is already going down. <laughs> but guys, before I go, I want to share with you some highlights on how we did the trick-or-treating thing this year. We had a great time and we were socially distant. We actually ran out of candy, believe it or not. Uh, so it was just the neighborhood kids that really kind of came around when we usually have quite the trick-or-treating thing happening here in my neighborhood. Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. Please hit that like button and subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, remember you have no limits. So happy running.
We have a candy cannon. We're calling it Candace. 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 The Candace 2020. Candy delivery system is ready. I've got all of the candy on there. 